All right, so today I'm out in the car with my daughter, Annie. Say hey. <laughs> I just want to talk about something real quick before she and I go to Panera and then Starbucks, which is um, and it's some advice. Not every advice you get about your hair or about how to take your locks are applicable to you. Um, example, I love following Yanni, and I love her motto, if it ain't for you, don't comment, right? Don't come for her. And I think that's really important to keep in mind. One of the things for me, I I was following some of the advice, but from her, specifically only oiling my scalp and um, not putting oils in my locks. But as she said, not everything is for you, right? Um and it wasn't for me. What was happening, my hair, my scalp, it was getting really tight, and it felt sore and on fire. I don't have dandruff. I don't have any uh, psoriasis or scalp disease. So I was like, oh, my God, am I going bald? Am I going to lose my hair? And none of that even correlated with her, and it still doesn't correlate with her. But what I want to say is everyone's scalp and hair reacts differently. For me... My scalp hates having oil on it. It feels suffocated and smothered. And when it was doing that, that's why it was getting tight and distressed. Um, because there is this disease that your, your, your body can react differently. So when you have technically naturally oily scalp, adding more oil to it actually creates an environment for bacteria to grow. Um, and so in my case, that's what was going on. So the moment um, I, I was journaling and recording what was going on, and when I changed it up, I've been recording and journaling for about a month now. Um, so my scalp hates any oil of any kind on it. When I removed that from the equation, it felt like it could breathe again. It was light. It was airy. Uh, for those of you who are going to ask what kind of oils was I using on it, I had a little bit of the vitamin E oil. I tried a little bit of the castor oil. It, um, I even went down to, like, some sweet almond oil, something light, a little bit of, uh, what else did I use? Oh, gosh. Oh, the avocado oil. Just individually, not all at once at the same time, except just one at a time, testing out, see if I could just oil my scalp that way with something. My hair reacted the same way. It got really tight. It got really tense. But the minute I would wash my hair and get that stuff off of my scalp, my scalp could breathe again, and the problem went away overnight. So that told me, for me, no oils. The other thing was, by not having oils on my scalp and on my hair, my hair was getting a little dry after washing. So I do put oil a little bit, like maybe a quarter size drop of either the sweet almond or um, or maybe sometimes coconut oil because I'm down south, so it's always hot. Coconut oil doesn't hard up in my hair where I'm at. So sometimes I may put a quarter size of coconut oil or sweet almond oil or the avocado oil um, to my hair after I've misted it with some rose water once a week or every two weeks. That works better for me. And then brushing my locks every couple of days that keeps everything moving oil from my scalp it's so much better so again like yanni says not everything is for you not everything she says to do should you do and um it has to work for you and your hair and your scalp that's the ultimate takeaway from this 